G'day everybody, my name's Luke Fitzpatrick and thank you for supporting Fish That Snag. Today's topic, making jig heads. So because we are dealing with uh, lead, uh, safety is obviously paramount. Um, so always wear your safety glasses. I use a uh, dust mask, just keep the fumes down and some uh, heavy duty gloves because it does get quite hot. Okay, so today I'm going to run you through how I uh, put together my jig heads. Um, I predominantly use three jig head moulds, all sourced from Do It Moulds out of the US. I've got a, uh, a shad design, uh, just a ball head design and a, a minnow head design. Uh, today I'm going to use the shad head design and I'll be using uh, nothing but quality from Eagle Claw, uh, 5 through to uh, 5 through to 1 size um, uh, jig hooks. Okay, so where do I get my lead from? Uh, I just went down to a local tyre place. Uh, these are just the tyre weights off of old tyres. Um, a big sort of 20 litre uh, bucket like this, it'll probably last me a lifetime uh, making sinkers and uh, jig heads. Uh, they charge me 30 bucks for it. So I just give everything a bit of a clean. I pull it out into a separate container, give it a bit of a clean and uh, and they melt down perfectly. So what you want to do once you've got your uh, lead melted nice and hot you want to run your mold through uh, a couple of times without hooks in it to start heating up the mold. Uh, this alleviates a lot of issues where the lead won't uh, go through the mold correctly. Uh, so I usually give it two to three runs just to heat it up nice and hot. Next up you want to put your hooks in. Um, I've got very fat clumsy fingers so I take the gloves off to do this part but I have to be extremely careful because uh, the aluminium mould is very very hot. Um, so once you get your hooks in position, uh, you can see I'm being very careful, uh, I've been burned a few times, uh, just clamp it shut and you're pretty much ready for pouring uh, your moulds. So the next part, very self-explanatory, is to pour the moulds themselves. Uh, this is where the Lee Pro 4 pound lead melter comes into its own. Uh, I used to use the ladle. Uh, I found it very clumsy and probably more dangerous. Uh, the Lee lead melter with the little handle, just it's so controlled and so quick. Uh, and you can do large quantities very, very quickly. Uh, so once you've got them all poured, uh, they're pretty much ready straight away. Uh, crack her open and see how she's gone. So there you go, uh, that's about as complicated as it gets. Uh, I like it nice, quick and simple. Uh, five jig heads and you can crack out probably a hundred or so in under an hour. The next part is just to tidy them up. These little snips I also sourced from Do It Moulds in the US. Uh, you just tidy up the excess uh, lead and throw it back in the melter ready to go for the next batch um, and you can pretty much uh, paint them up stick eyes on them do whatever you need to do uh, to them uh, to make them look good and use them the way you want to use them so that's it folks I'm all done thanks very much for supporting fish that snag and I hope to see you on the water